This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. It's the 7th Annual Oscar Prediction Show with your host, anyone, anyone, Bueller? From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. It's that time again, Oscar Predictions. This year's telecast will supposedly be shorter and snappier, but I'm not holding my breath. We'll see how they deal with the no-host controversy. We're seeing various rumors slash announcements after someone complains on Twitter, they get rescinded. Plans to only play some of the nominated songs got scuttled after Lin-Manuel Miranda threatened to boycott. Plans to end the tradition of having the previous winner of an acting category announce the new winner were dropped after Alice and Janney complained. Our prediction system. First, don't see any of the nominated films. Second, see who won the awards leading up to the Oscar and who has the most buzz. And if there are any controversies. Now, our Oscar rules. If you die, you're in. Biopics rule. Portraying an illness works well. Multiple noms without a win helps. We'll list the previous Oscar record where applicable with nominations and wins, as well as the odds as of February 7th based on an average of five betting sites via nicerodds.co.uk. And we're going to start with Supporting Actor. Maharsha Ali for Green Book. Two nominations, <laughs> one win. One to one odds. They won the Golden Globe, Critics' Choice, and SAG Awards. Adam Driver for Black Klansmen, who has one nomination and zero wins and 30 to 1 odds. Sam Elliott for A Star is Born, one nomination, zero wins, 13 to 1 odds. Richard E. Grant for Can You Ever Forgive Me, one nom, zero wins, and 6 to 1 odds. He won the New York Critics' Choice Award. Sam Rockwell for Vice, two nominations, one win, 33 to 1. I picked Mahersha Ali. As I did as well. Why? Uh, because he's already won once. They, he won several awards already. Um, and the and the Academy is really trying to be politically correct. Well, I think <laughs> I, I think it's maybe less that the Academy is trying to be politically correct and that they've expanded their voter rolls. Um, That's true. You know, so. So there's more people of um, color voting, and there's more younger people voting. Mm -hmm. And so we may see a change to some of those Oscar rules. We will see. Supporting Actress. We have Amy Adams for Vice, who has six nominations and no wins and 3.1 to 1 odds. Marina de Tavira for Roma, with one nomination, zero wins, 30 to 1 odds. Regina King for If Beale Street Could Talk with one nomination, zero wins, 1.4 to 1 odds. Won the Golden Globe, Critics' Choice, and the New York's Critics' Choice Awards. Emma Stone for The Favorite. Three nominations, zero wins, 17.5 to 1 odds. Rachel Weiss for The Favorite also with two nominations and one win, 11 to 1 odds. By the way, Emily Blunt won the SAG Award. I picked Regina King. As did I. You know, I wouldn't be surprised... If one of the people from the favorite would win, if only one of them was nominated. Yes, I think they cut each other out. Yes. No question in my mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Animated feature. The Incredibles 2, 9.5 to 1 odds. Isle of Dogs, 9.5 to 1 odds. Mirai, 30.30 30 to 1 odds. And Ralph Breaks the Internet, 27.5 to 1 odds. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, 1.1 to 1 odds, won the Golden Globe, the Critics' Choice, the Producers Guild, the New York's Critics' Choice Awards, and so our pick is... Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much a, con a forgotten conclusion. Yeah. Original song, All the Stars from Black Panther, 8.5 to 1 odds. All Fight from RBG, 21 to 1 odds. The Place Where Lost Things Go from Mary Poppins Returns, 21 to 1 odds. Shallow from A Star is Born, 1.05 to 1 odds. Won the Golden Globe and the Critics' Choice Awards. When a Cowboy Trades His Spurs for Wings from the Ballad of Buster Scruggs, 36.5 to 1 odds. <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> I never well, we needed five, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> We both picked Shallow. Yes, because uh, there was all this buzz for A Star is Born, but I think that it's not, not actually going to win, win anything, uh, else. anything else. So, so uh, throw them song. Yeah, you know? exactly. I'll, I'll vote for that because, you know, yeah. I'm not going to vote for anything else. Right. Director Alfonso Caron for Roma with 10 nominations, 2 wins, 1.05 to 1 odds. 
This won the Golden Globe, the Critics' Choice, the New York's Critics' Choice, and the Directors Guild Awards. Yorgos Lanthimos for the favorite, three nominations, zero wins, 35 to one odds. Spike Lee for Black's Klansman, six noms, and one win, which was an honorary Oscar, 10.5 to one odds. Adam McKay for Vice, five nominations, one win, 36 to one odds. Pawel Pawelowski for Cold War, he's got one nomination, zero wins, and 30 to one odds. And so I'm picking Alfonso Caron. You're going with the standard backup thing. Right, yeah, and there's so many, he won so many awards, and yes. yeah. I'm going for Spike Lee. Okay. I think Spike Lee's going to win this year. Yeah. And I will explain why when we get to Best Picture. Okay. Then I'll go on to Actor then, with Christian Bale for Vice, four nominations, one win, Three to one odds. He won the Golden Globe and the Critics' Choice Awards. Bradley Cooper for A Star is Born with seven nominations and zero wins. Fifteen to one odds. Willem Dafoe for At Eternity's Gate. Four nominations, zero wins, 46 to one odds. Rami Malek for Bohemian Rhapsody. One nomination, zero wins, 1.3 to one odds. Won the Golden Globe and the SAG Awards. Viggo Mortensen for Green Book. Three nominations, zero wins, 31 to 1 odds. And Ethan Hawke won the New York's Critics' Choice Awards, but was not nominated here. Right. And we're both going with Christian, Christian Bale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much a no-brainer, the gaining weight kind of thing. Right, yeah, yeah. The Academy loves that. Yeah. <laughs> Actress. Yalitza Aprario for Roma. I butchered that. One nomination, zero wins, 35.5. 33.5 to 1 odds. Glenn Close for The Wife, 7 noms, 0 wins, 1.1 to 1 odds, won the Golden Globe, the Critics' Choice, and the SAG Award. Olivia Coleman for The Favorite, 1 nomination, 0 wins, 5.7 to 1 odds, she won the Golden Globe and the Critics' Choice Awards. Lady Gaga for A Star is Born, 1 nomination, 0 wins, 11.5 to 1, won the Critics' Choice Awards. Melissa McCarthy for Can You Ever Forgive Me, which may be the alternate uh, choice for that terrible yes. evil Muppet movie she made. Yeah. Two nominations, zero wins, 38.5 to one odds. Yes. Regina Hall won the New York's Critics' Choice Awards. And we're both picking... Glenn Close. Glenn, Glenn Close. This is like more of a legacy kind of thing, I think. Honorary Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah. Maybe not her best role, but she's lost out on ones where she probably should have won yeah. and the academy is like okay we really need to give her one yeah. maybe she'll never have another good role yeah <laughs> <laughs> which takes us to best picture black panther 21.5 to 1 odds it did win the sag award black clansman 19 to 1 odds Bohemian Rhapsody at 27.5 to 1 odds and won the Golden Globe. The Favorite, 8.5 to 1 odds. Green Book, 4.6 to 1 odds, won the Golden Globe and the Producers Guild Awards. And Roma, 1.5 to 1 odds, won the Critics' Choice and the New York's Critics' Choice Awards. A Star is Born, 26.5 to 1 odds. Vice, a long shot at 76 to 1. <laughs> if Bill Street Could Talk won the prestigious Central Ohio Ooh. Film Critics' Choice Award. <laughs> I'm going out on a limb and saying that Black's Klansman is going to win. And I'm going with Green Book. Ooh, <laughs> kind of the juxtaposition yes, there. As indeed. we were just talking about, Spike Lee lost for his first movie, Do the Right Thing, to Driving Miss Daisy. Daisy. Now you're saying he's going to lose to like the opposite of Driving right. Miss Daisy, which <laughs> the, is Green Book. The bizarro Driving Miss Daisy, yes. Green Book. <laughs> okay. Um, I just completely discounted Green Book. I don't think it did well enough overall. Okay. But... Um, and a lot of people were picking Roma. Yes. But do you know that a foreign language film has never won Best Picture? Right. And I think they're going to go... Because clearly, if you're in Best Picture and you're a foreign film, by definition, and you're the only foreign film nominee, by definition, you have to win foreign film, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> one would imagine so. So, so I think they're going to go, you won foreign film, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> But I, um, but I think because Spike Lee is nominated in both the director category and this category, and I'm not sure that the director for Green Book was nominated. Um, I don't believe he was. So I think that because of that, we're going to see that, because um, normally they go together, best director and best right. picture. But not always. But Not but, always, but, but normally. But more often than not, they do. Yes. So I'm going with Black Klansman. We'll see who... Yeah. who uh, Persevere. Yeah, I'm going with the, safe, the, the safer choice. <laughs> <laughs> the one that more traditional... Uh, Academy voters would go for. <laughs> but 
but we will see. Yeah, we will see who's right on that. And <laughs> while we're waiting to find out, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching.